In this video, we are talking about all things Kajabi, whether you are brand new to online business or you're just new to Kajabi. By the end of this video, I want you to be super clear on exactly what Kajabi is and whether or not it's right for you and your business. Let's jump in. Hey there, I'm Brooke Roberts. I'm here to help you build a profitable online solopreneur business so that you can work from anywhere while you travel everywhere. If you are new here and you haven't signed up for Kajabi yet, I want you to click the link down in the description, brookroberts.co slash Kajabi. That is an affiliate link, so I really appreciate your support. And you're gonna get access to a 30-day free trial of Kajabi. You have 30 whole days to use the platform for free to get your entire business up and running. I'm here to help you out, just stay tuned. You'll be able to hopefully start making some money by the time you actually have to start paying for Kajabi. So just go to the link down below, get signed up. And when you do that, you're actually going to get some bonuses from me. So I've been using Kajabi since 2020. I've been in online business since 2009. And I have a lot of experience with a ton of different software, software that doesn't even exist anymore. I will tell you that I love Kajabi so much. I use it for both of my current online businesses. I've helped a few other companies build their businesses on Kajabi. I live and die by Kajabi. I want you to be able to get the best start that you can. When you sign up with my link down below, you're gonna get a few bonuses from me. So the first is a 45 minute coaching call where you can talk about Kajabi, your existing business, your business idea, and how you can use the platform to get up and running fast and then scale to the revenue and reach goals that you want to achieve. You're also gonna get access to an email sequence that I have used multiple times and I used it on my very first launch of my very first course. I made $25,000 in one week in a super, super tiny niche. So if I can do it, you can do it too. And so I'm gonna give you all of those emails I used to launch that course that very first time. And so that's my 25K course launch email sequence. You're gonna get access to those. You're also gonna get access to my Kajabi Kickstart Guide. It's completely free and it basically walks you in a text format, exactly the steps you need to take to get started Started with Kajabi to build out your first product, start selling it, and start earning some income online. And then lastly, something that is in the works right now and you are gonna get first access to it when you use my link, is I'm building out a complete online program called Scale with Kajabi. And it's gonna take you step by step on how to build your entire business ecosystem on Kajabi the framework and the business strategy, but also the behind the scenes of Kajabi as well and how to get it all set up. So if you want access to all of those things, go to brookroberts.co slash Kajabi to get started. And I can't wait to see you in our coaching call. They're a lot of fun. So here's our game plan for this video. First, we're gonna talk about what is Kajabi. We're then we're gonna dive into what Kajabi can actually do, how much Kajabi costs and is it worth it? All the tools that Kajabi replaces in your online business and doing a little self-assessment and figuring out is Kajabi actually right for the type of business that you want to launch and the type of life you want to live. And then we'll talk about how to get started. All Let's right. start with what is Kajabi? Kajabi is an all-in-one online business software and platform. What that means is instead of you having to host your website over here and your landing pages over there and your email service provider over there and your courses and membership over there and your checkout pages here and all these different software solutions scattered around the internet and you having to hook them all together, instead of doing that, Kajabi allows you to do all of those things under one umbrella. You have one single login, one single platform where you can utilize the entire system to do all of those functions in your business. Now there's a lot of reasons why this is incredible for most online business owners and especially for solopreneurs or people doing a side hustle and you're doing most of the elements of your business yourself is that Kajabi is super simple to use. It's it's very intuitive and you're going to really enjoy logging into the back end of your business. For me, the biggest piece of all of this is that you don't have to worry about syncing up all of this different software. It's all in one system, so you don't have to worry about anything breaking or not talking to each other or not functioning correctly. It all works 
completely seamlessly. And that has been an amazing game changer for me and my business. I have a lot of sad, sad stories of me using a Frankenstein approach to my online business. I have another video that I'll link in the cards above all about that so you can listen to those sad stories. To summarize, Kajabi is everything you need to run a very successful, profitable, seamless online business all under one umbrella, under one roof with one single login. Which brings me to our next topic. What does Kajabi actually do? So for this, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of my actual Kajabi account, and we're gonna dive into each component. We're on the dashboard of my website that I'm relaunching right now. And so I've been testing a lot of things you'll see here. Um, so you first have your dashboard, which is going to show you the performance over the last few days. Obviously, I'm launching a brand new website, so I don't have much performance right now, but you can see your opt-ins, your sales, current customers, comments. So we're just going to do it down the line over here on the left. So that let's look into products. One of the cool things about Kajabi is you have a lot of opportunities to build out a variety of different types of products. So as you can see here, we have courses, coaching, communities and podcasts. The cool thing about all of these products is that of course you can charge for them. That's the whole reason to start a business, but you can also offer free versions of them as well. For courses, we have a lot of different features, whether it's a mini course or a, a much larger flagship course experience. You can upload videos, audio, text lessons. You can utilize quizzes and surveys. We'll talk more in future videos about the course component of Kajabi, but you can customize the look, the feel, everything of your course to match your brand and style. They have a lot of different templates that you can then further customize through colors, fonts, all sorts of fun stuff. We have podcasts. So if you already have a podcast and you want to ditch your other hosting platform that you might be paying for, you can move your entire podcast over to Kajabi. And of course you can offer that for free, but the cool thing here is that you could also create another exclusive podcast just for members of your membership community, for instance, and you can offer that as a paid exclusive podcast for them as well. So if you really love audio content and that's sort of your bread and butter, podcast could be a really lucrative um, angle for you to take with your business. And then we have the coaching platform as well. So if you're a coach and you're going to do one-on-one -on -one sessions with people, you can set up a coaching package. I'm going to go into more details detail in future videos all about this. Essentially, you can do live video conferencing baked into the, the platform. So you don't have to have something like Zoom on top of uh, your Kajabi membership. You also have calendar integration. So if you want to integrate with your calendar like Google, you can use a tool like Calendly, which it all works seamlessly behind the scenes together. They also have a baked in calendar booking system as well. Of course, you can upload video, audio content, downloads, and you can share notes back and forth with your clients through the coaching package and platform. This did not exist when I joined Kajabi, which is another bonus of Kajabi. They are constantly updating and improving the platform. And as a member and as a paying member of Kajabi, you get automatic access to all of these, these new tools and, and, and resources. The next type of product that you can do inside of Kajabi is a community. Once again, this is definitely a new iteration of their previous community. It's sort of on steroids. Uh, if you know all the functionality of like a Facebook group or my ID Networks or Circle.so, the new community feature inside of Kajabi has all of that and more. You can obviously do live videos inside the community that's gated for just the members. There's a feed component where people can chat back and forth, the mobile app. You can create meetups, challenges, all inside of the community. I haven't had a chance to set one up yet because literally this was just rolled out, but I have some big, big visions for a future community that I want to launch for my brand. Next up, we have the sales tab. Kajabi is really cool about how they set up their their back end. So you have your products and that's where the content, the meat of the product is hosted. Then you have offers and this is how you sell those products. And the reason why having those two things separate is really powerful is that as you build out a product library, let's say you have a course and a paid podcast and a membership, you can obviously have an offer for each one of those things individually, but then you can also create offers that bundle some of those things together. So maybe the membership 
they can upgrade to also get the podcast or the course. You could have a special bundle that's only in December and they also get access to the podcast for a year when they purchase that certain offer in December. So offers, you can have unlimited offers and you can slice and dice and package it up as many different ways as you want to. And of course, with your offers, you can offer a one-time payment, payment plans where it's weekly, monthly, quarterly, et cetera, or an ongoing recurring fee as well where people just pay month over month or year over year on a recurring basis until they decide to leave. You can also use tools like coupons. And then you have a special area here where they just launched. This is where you can track all of your payments that are coming through, the transactions, the subscriptions, the multi-payments, and what you can anticipate sort of your runway and your forecast is for your revenue in your business. Now this is actually new. They just launched this as of time of recording. So like once again, I'm relaunching my website. There's so there's no data in here yet. Another really great component of Kajabi that replaces another tool that actually I never talk about with people. You can actually have an affiliate program inside of Kajabi as well. With your affiliate program, your past students, you can give them specialized links that allow them to get a commission if they refer people back to your products. And so you can manage all of that inside of Kajabi without needing another software solution to manage that or God forbid, you have to track it all in a spreadsheet. The next element of Kajabi is your website. A lot of people think of Kajabi as a course hosting platform for sure, but actually it does everything and you can move and host your entire business, including your website, your blog. So for instance, I used to use Squarespace and Teachable to host those two different things. And now I can host them both over on Kajabi, both my courses and my website. The next area under website is your pages. This is your landing pages. These are the one-off uh, pages that you can use to have sales pages or opt-in pages. You have your navigation so you can customize and create different navigation for different pages, whether it's just your homepage navigation to your footer navigation to uh, maybe you have a sales page that has a specific navigation as well. You can build out a bunch of different navigation. The next element of your website is your blog. When I say blog, I use that broadly, that recurring RSS feed type of content. So it could be written, but it could be the show notes for your podcast or a, a placeholder for your YouTube videos that has show notes below that as well. So this is just that blog area where it's like articles, just content that you're producing on a regular consistent basis for your audience. And you can host all of that on Kajabi. Now let's move into some of the fun stuff. This is the marketing area. So this is the area where you are going to find most of your email functionality inside of Kajabi. Kajabi. So of course you can do email campaigns and those are those one-off broadcast emails where maybe it's a weekly newsletter or something like that. You can run all of those through Kajabi and they have beautiful templates or you can do sort of plain text, simple emails as well. And then you can do sequences. This is one of the biggest elements of an online business is having these automation sequences that can run in the back end for your business and help you drive passive income to your business. So sequences allow you to sort of build out, it could be a three-day campaign, a 17-day campaign, and everything in between that can run on autopilot. One of the other interesting things about Kajabi that they've been working on is their funnels, previously known as pipelines. Now these are great because they're one-click wonders. If you're brand new to online business especially, this is a great place to begin. Of course, you can start with a blank template, but if you just want to create a simple freebie funnel, for instance, you can click on this, there's an educational video all about how it works. And then it shows you here what's included in each element of the funnel. So it's gonna have an opt-in, one email and a thank you page. So you'll get an opt-in page, this, the person will receive an email once they opt in and then they'll get a thank you page. It's a very basic funnel. If you're nervous about some of these components, this is a great place to start to understand the framework and strategy behind online businesses to really dive deep into some of these funnels and to just see how they work. Of course, you can learn more. The help section of Kajabi is great. If you want to launch a product, build just a sales page funnel with an email sequence, they kind of just give you a fill in the blank scenario. And so this is a great way to just get started. Then you have automations. Now this is where I think there's a lot of power in Kajabi that a lot of people don't 
realize. And especially if you're on the growth plan, which we'll talk about in a second, you get all of the advanced automations. You can create all sorts of if then logic. So if there's an action over here, then this other thing will happen over there. And because there's all of these variables that you're collecting from people and all these products and offers and things that you have going on, you can be really, really creative with how you build out automations to make your business very advanced and very savvy. Now, this is definitely a later on kind of thing to think about, if you're, especially if you're just getting started. But I want you to see that this is a possibility with Kajabi. It's not just a beginner platform. It is an advanced platform. However, it is very beginner user friendly. So automations are amazing. Events are basically Kajabi's workaround for creating countdown timers and limited time offers and things like that. I'll do a whole other video on different ways I've used events in my business with Kajabi. Basically, it allows you to create an event at the day and time, it can be recurring or a one-time experience. And from there, you can determine certain automations. And then of course, you have forms, which is the main way that people are going to come into your business and, and say, yes, I want more information, I want more or access to you. My lights just turned on, so hello. Forms, you can build those out and create different automations with those as well. Embed them on multiple pages, create pop-ups, etc. The next area of Kajabi is your contacts, and this is where you see all the people who have subscribed to your Kajabi site and your business, and you can segment this, create tags, you can do lots of different filtering and, and sorting, you can also then drill down into a specific person's account. Within contacts, you also have insights. And this is also where you can create assessments or those quizzes and surveys and things that you can build out to either use them as lead magnets or use them inside of your programs to sort of assess students along the way and give them action items that they have to respond to inside your program. And then finally, we have our analytics tab, and it's going to show you all sorts of information from your overall net revenue over time, how much you've made in the last month, the number of purchases. You can drill down to subscriptions, opt-ins, page views product progress, offers, affiliates, all sorts of information inside your analytics dashboard. So there you go. Those are all of the different components and capabilities of Kajabi. Now that you know what Kajabi can do, let's talk about money. Let's talk about the price of Kajabi. All right, here we are on Kajabi's pricing page. Up here, you'll see that it says 14 day free trial. So when you go to Kajabi's website, you will get a 14 day free trial, which is great. But if you want a 30 day free trial, you definitely need to use my link down below to get the 30 day free trial plus all of the bonuses I talked about before. Now, when people see this page, they tend to get a little sticker shock. They're like, whoa, $149, $199, $399, and I get it. This is the thing that stopped me from moving to Kajabi for a long time. I think I wanted to move to Kajabi probably around 2017. And I was making great money, but I still was like, it's so expensive. And I never took the time to really break down the pricing, what I get and everything. We're gonna talk about what Kajabi replaces in a second, but I don't want you to get sticker shock right away. So first of all, the, the first way that you can save money with Kajabi, if you pay annually, you save 20%. If you have the means and the ability to make this initial investment upfront after your thir free 30 days, of course, then I highly recommend that you consider doing the annual plan just to save the 20% over the course of the entire year. I think that most people can start with the basic plan, especially if you're brand new, just getting started and building from scratch on Kajabi immediately, basic is probably enough. Most people do not need more than three products or you know a ton of funnels. You get unlimited landing pages, unlimited marketing emails with this. You also get you know 10,000 contacts and 1,000 active customers and one website. Most people only need that. So I highly recommend the basic plan. However, eventually, maybe with even within a few months, you might wanna upgrade to the growth plan because maybe you have more products. So at that point, you might want to get access to the advanced automations. Quotas are, are much higher, so you get 15 products, 15 funnels, 25K contacts, 10,000 active customers, et cetera. Depending on where you are in business, if you're already established and you already know you're migrating over more than three products, for instance, you might wanna start with growth. That's the plan I'm currently on. Or if you're just starting out, just start with the basic plan and 
get going, start making that money. And once you're making money, as you upgrade, it won't feel like such a big investment once you see the power of Kajabi on the back end. Here's where I'm gonna make the case that it is absolutely worth it because it replaces so many different softwares. Let's run through the, the, the mighty list of different things that Kajabi will replace for you. The first thing that Kajabi replaces is your course hosting. I used to use Teachable, I also dabbled with Thinkific for a hot minute. They range from 27 to $99 a month. Plus, depending on the, the plan you're on, they're also gonna charge anywhere from five to 10% in transaction fees. That can add up really fast as you start selling more and more in your business. I don't know about you, but I'm all about like keeping as much money in my pocket as possible. So you wanna really avoid those transaction fees. And I'm not sure if you noticed before, but Kajabi doesn't charge any transaction fees. What you pay, is what you see. You don't have to pay anything in addition to that. The next thing that Kajabi replaces is your membership site hosting or software. If you have a recurring membership where you're delivering content and coaching and information on a monthly or quarterly, et cetera, basis, a lot of people have used WordPress plugins for this. So instead of hosting that all on a messy WordPress situation and paying for that additional plugin, you can now do all of that baked inside of Kajabi. Another thing that I love about Kajabi is that community feature. So that gives you the ability to scrap your Facebook groups. Nobody likes Facebook. Nobody wants to be on it. It's just a cesspool. <laughs> and so if you're sick of being on Facebook as well, then this is a great platform for you to explore. The next thing that Kajabi replaces is your email marketing software. So whether you are on MailChimp or you're on something like ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign, your email service provider fee can stack up really fast. And just as an example, when I moved my businesses over for just one of my businesses, I was paying $79 a month. Compared to the $159 that I now pay a month for Kajabi and all the extra stuff I now get, that was a huge chunk of change that I was spending on convert kits. And it saved me so much money over the course of the last several years. Think about how much your current software, the software you might have to start investing in, how those are all gonna add up over time. And you might as well just start with like the Cadillac the Cadillac of online business hosting. The other thing that Kajabi replaces is your website and your website hosting and all the various plugins that you need. I, I have used both Squarespace and WordPress over the years and I will tell you right now, WordPress, not my friend. It is not my friend. I am not a big fan of WordPress, especially if you are not techie, coding friendly type of person. There's just too many things that can break with WordPress and I have experienced that myself. So I don't trust it. Then you have to have your hosting like on Bluehost for instance, and it just all adds up and it causes a lot of headaches. And I don't know how much your time is worth, but it's worth a lot and you do not need those crazy WordPress hosting headaches. Podcast hosting is also another thing that Kajabi can replace for you. So whether you're using something free like Anchor or you've been using Libsyn or Buzzsprout or Captivate, you can scrap all of those and move your entire podcast over to Kajabi. You can also replace your sales funnel software. So if you've been sold on something like a ClickFunnels or a SamCart, you could actually ixnay those. ClickFunnels costs $97 a month and it does one thing. And now Kajabi does that plus everything. You can also get rid of your landing page software. As I said before, all of the plans come with unlimited landing pages. And so previously I used to use lead pages for my landing pages. And so I was able to scrap that. I think I was paying $30 a month for those. No longer paying for that. Kajabi integrates seamlessly with both PayPal and Stripe. And so you can do it all inside of Kajabi and process your payments through both of those. Woo! That was a lot. So let's now answer the question, is Kajabi right for you? Now, obviously, you might think I'm super biased that I say, yes, of course, I think Kajabi is right for you. But actually, that's not true. I do think it depends on the type of business that you want to launch. Of course, I'm talking about online business, knowledge economy, where you're selling your knowledge, your information, access to you, digital products. That's what Kajabi was built for. However, if you're trying to build sort of an enterprise level, fast growth tech startup where you've got series A, series B rounds of investment, you shouldn't be messing around with Kajabi, I don't think. It's not gonna help you get to where you want to go because you're building your own tech suite and platform. 
platform. If you're trying to build a big, huge media company and your primary revenue stream is going to be advertising and sponsorship, I don't know that Kajabi is the right platform for that. It just doesn't have enough of the online magazine kind of functionality that people are used to, to really be a thriving media company. But if you are a personal brand thought leader, if you are selling knowledge online and information through courses, coaching, consulting, et cetera, Kajabi is absolutely perfect for you. The only other business that I don't think it's good for is the physical product-based businesses. Kajabi just wasn't designed for that and that's fine. It's not meant to do that. If you are wanting to sell physical products, do drop shipping or anything like that, I don't think Kajabi is the right fit for you. Those are the business models I don't think Kajabi is for, just being brutally, brutally honest. Somebody at Kajabi, don't hate me, but I just don't think you're built for that. But beyond those considerations for is Kajabi right for you, I also want you to sort of get a little more personal and dive a little bit more deep into sort of what you want to build. What is the life you are trying to create for yourself? And how do you want to design a business that supports that life, that dream life, that lifestyle that you've been longing for? And is Kajabi going to be the tool that helps you achieve that end? And I'm coaching people, I like to ask them about how they want their days to look. What kind of problem solving do they want to be focused on? Because in a business, you are always gonna be solving problems. When you use something like Kajabi, you don't have as much confusion. You have a lot more simplicity. There's clarity with it because it's so streamlined and simple to use. It is very powerful when you need it to be, but it's also very simple and straightforward when you need it to be as well. Do you want your tech to be easy or do you want to tinker with tech and be working on tech stuff a lot? Because if you use the Frankenstein approach, you are going to be dealing with a lot of tech issues and you just aren't going to have that with Kajabi. Do you want a great customer? experience both as a Kajabi customer and for your customers? Do you want a great user experience both for you and your customers? Kajabi allows for both of those things to be true. Also think about the automation, your ability to make money without actually having to be present for every single transaction. Kajabi allows you to sell things on autopilot through their automations and sequences and payment processing. All of that can happen behind the scenes while you're off Do whatever you want to do. You can build a really thriving passive income style business with Kajabi. Do you want to build a business that supports the life you want or do you want to be on the cover of TechCrunch? Because those are two very different goals and they're equally valid and and wonderful, but you have to decide for yourself what is right for you. Now, if you are still not sure and you're like, but I don't know, how do I get started? I think the best way to figure out if Kajabi is right for you is to just go play with it. Go tinker around, go click on stuff, try to break things, add things, customize things, just go around and tinker. That's what I love to do with new software is just get in there and I say, okay, what if I wanted to do X? And then I go try to do it and see how easy it is. Go play with Kajabi. You have a 30 day free trial when you use my link, link down below. You can have 30 days just to play around or you have 30 days to get really serious and say, nah, I'm not shopping around anymore for software. I'm taking the plunge. I'm going to use Kajabi and I'm going to start making some money online. You can do that too in the next 30 days. It's just go to brookroberts.co slash Kajabi. With that 30 day trial, you're also going to get all of those bonuses I talked about before. So you're gonna get a 45 minute coaching call with me one-on-one. I love these coaching calls. They're very energizing for me and I think very helpful for the people I'm talking to. You're also gonna get my 25K course launch email sequence that I use to launch my very first course and earn $25,000 in less than a week. And of course, you'll get the Kajabi Kickstart Guide, which is more of a PDF style uh, instruction manual on how to get started with Kajabi. And you're gonna get first tips on my free course, Scale with Kajabi, where I walk you through both the framework and the philosophy of your online business and also the nuts and bolts of how to execute it inside of Kajabi. Now, if you wanna know all the things I wish I knew about Kajabi before, I decided to move both of my businesses over there. I have a video right here for you that you can watch next in this series. Remember that every day you postpone a dream, you weaken it a little, so get out there and make some magic happen. Cheers.